Hello everyone, I am James, this is Persia. Our country split in half. Something about uh, the power of flex tape, we soldered our country in half. We're gonna take back Fars, hopefully it doesn't get destroyed too much. I'll probably accept these guys, but I want to deal with uh, Kerman first. All right, you guys give everything. I don't think that it's not going to be enough. Yeah, you're right. It would accept. It would result in your annexation. I think I'll probably have to leave them with the territory. Plus, I could have them revoke cores. Probably leave them with uh, Jask because that's not a province that's actually cored yet. Go up, try to take out their army. I don't want to pay the uh, dip for this stuff, so I'll decline that. Let these guys lock. These provinces are far surgeon. I'm just gonna blanket decline that. Those guys out. Then stack wipe them, but. Probably just follow them wherever they're going. going through the rebels. Okay. Where are you going now? Oh, you're going down there. not great to do that. Should be fine. I'm going to leave a couple people to take provinces. Assuming they don't have anything in them. Oh, 
almost. to this province. Okay. I think they're going in that province? Unless they're going all the way around. Wow, the burgers absolutely hate me. stack wipe their army. Just give me however many ducats. It's not a lot of ducats. Alright. We can get those provinces back. This guy is Abd Mirza the first, I guess. Whole bunch of autonomy, lose one stability. 615 with a strong claim. The only problem is he's Sunni. If he's Sunni, I'm pretty sure that would mean that um, I would have to go back to Sunni. Don't want to do that again. Don't want to convert to Sunni, though. There's this Persian pretender rebel. Oh no, that's them. Okay. They're just going to get reinforced. Only they weren't Sunni. The burger should become not disloyal. Because I took Fars. I took all this stuff back. Do you not take my stuff while I'm uh, debating? Oh, that's unfortunate. There's my stability points. I don't think there's any way to convert your guy. Alright, well, um... 
That's not gonna happen. Because apparently they won't, um... They don't negotiate. So... Even though we want to put their guy on the throne, they don't negotiate. So I'm gonna restore the priesthood. Lose 50 admin power, gain 10 church influence in the event a new religious head happens. Choose the most pious. I think that just gave us church influence, but from 60 to 70 gives us an extra missionary. We have a loyal religious head, which decreases missionary strength by 0.6. Okay. not attack these guys in mountains. Oh, okay, they're going to Fars. So I'll take care of them. Get rid of the Mercs. The burgers still hate me. They shouldn't hate me, uh, because I took those provinces back for them. Just has to... cycle through or something. Alright, they're gone. My current ruler is 31. I really hope that doesn't happen every time your ruler dies, because that's going to be horrible. Um, since I didn't get that guy on the throne, the centralization is 14. It's either... You either have to have a new dynasty, government has to be not monarchy, absolutism 30, or admin tech 16. I don't think the admin tech is going to happen, so... 16 centralization, you need stability. Corruption decreases that as well. That might happen one more time, unless our guy lives to be 70. Hey, force limit is 4, though, so that's nice. Betrayal of the Messiah. Okay. They betrayed him. our province. So I got rebels. I'm only two away from, uh, or one away from just war. We can do this guy. National unrest, negative one missionary strength, plus one. Still wouldn't be enough to actually start converting, though. We lost all of our discipline. Start, uh... Drilling those guys. Just leave the Merc in there.
Our heir is a fierce negotiator. Merc maintenance. Ecclesiastical writings. 60% chance to get uh, missionary strength plus 2% for two ducats. Nope, didn't get it. I suppose if I absolutely had to, at the last minute I could destroy this fort before my ruler died. I don't know how they chose what provinces to take. There are 16,000 Sunni zealots. I thought I got these guys, uh, dealt with those guys. They're now back. Lost Brethren, now that the Zoroastrianism has been restored in Fars, it's time to reach out to a Brethren elsewhere. By the 6th century, Zer no, no, it's not time to reach out to a Brethren elsewhere. We have lots of internal problems here. Right? We, don't, we don't need to worry about other countries. By the 6th century, Zoroastrianism was almost exclusively a Persian religion. After the Arab conquest, thousands of Zoroastrians fled eastward into India in search of a new home, where they became known as Parsis, Persians. They were a tiny minority living among Hindus and Muslims. Although they found some tolerance and even some prosperity, they arrived with few priests, relics, or scriptures. You could provide state support or wish them good luck. Um... All right, five ducats, one legitimacy. Did they ch mm. I think the AI Kerman dropped this good. Damn it, AI. Uh, I'm gonna look up these trade goods really quickly. No steel gives uh, mill stuff, but uh, jewelry gives national tax and stuff. I'll do steel. And I can attract. Attract artisans, gifted Chaldean. Let's go ahead and switch to intolerant. I can start converting now. Well, I'm positive. Autonomy kind of uh, reduces that. I'm going to take that advisor. part here. We got our country back. We have uh, one stability point now. We're positive missionary strength, so we're just we're rolling with the punches. Eventually we'll get uh, just war, so we'll be able to convert in earnest with that 3% missionary strength. Probably get an advisor too. And then uh, hopefully we can convert the majority of these uh, provinces. And hopefully that uh, civil war doesn't happen before you hit 30 centralization. We're halfway there. Goodbye.